Hi there, my name is Will with Apex Gaming PCs. In today's video, we're going to show you some basic troubleshooting tutorial steps in order for you to figure out and diagnose what's happening with your PC if it's refusing to turn on. Now there are multiple reasons why a PC won't be turning on. We're going to be covering some of the basic ones that you can address with just your hands and a screwdriver. Some motherboards that we ship with PCs have built-in postcodes or debug LEDs making troubleshooting more accessible to the end user. The general for progression for these LEDs are CPU, DRAM, VGA, and then boot. This video will focus on the latter three. If your system doesn't have debug lights, don't worry about it. We'll go into each specific cause that can cause a system not to post via your RAM sticks, graphics card, or storage solution. If you haven't already, make sure to also look at our video on our quick start guide to make sure you haven't missed anything. The first issue you may encounter is that the PC powers on, but does not display the post screen or Windows initialization. In this order, start by ensuring that the connection is securely plugged into the back of the monitor. then connect it to the proper port on the back of the dedicated graphics card or supported integrated graphics. Then restart your system. Moving past the connections, we'll look to the graphics card and reseat it if the issue persists. First, remove the glass side panel and unplug the PCIe power connector. Then, Unscrew two or three of the retainer screws holding in the GPU to the case. In this case model, you can see that the PCIe retainer screws had a brace supporting it. You can remove that before removing the two or three screws. Then, you can push down with your screwdriver or your thumb the motherboard retention clip, freeing the GPU being able to be pulled out. After unseating the graphics card, you can reset it by inserting it into the slot with the motherboard clip set to open and securing it with an audible click. Resecure the screws to the case, and finally, plug the PCIe power connector into the GPU. Then you can power on your system. Next we'll move on to the RAM sticks. Lay your case down on a workable surface and unclasp the RAM sticks on the motherboard by pushing the clips at the top or bottom down with your thumb. Some motherboards will have just one clip to push down, with A others as a retainer, while others require a push on both sides. After taking them out, tack a piece of tape to identify one from the other. After this, insert one RAM stick in the rightmost slot to test if the system works. If it does, repeat the step for every stick. In this demonstration, we've introduced a bad stick of RAM to show how some systems will not boot with a bad stick present. After a minute of trying, the system still does not boot. If you've isolated a bad stick of RAM, you are free to put the working sticks back in either a one stick or two stick configuration. The last thing is to check if your system is booting correctly. 
If you can't get into Windows, hit the Delete or F2 key to get into the BIOS when the system starts up. From there, you can hit the Boot tab, and you should make a mental note of your drives and see if all of them are detected. If the Windows Boot Partition Drive is absent, then the drive storing your operating system might need to be replaced. To remove an NVMe storage solution, you can unscrew it with a small screwdriver and pull it out to set to the side. To access a SATA SSD, undo the back panel or front panel and ensure that the SATA data wire is connected securely both on the motherboard's end and on the SSD's end. In addition, you can also want to check and make sure that the SATA data power is connected and secured to the SSD. Once completed, turn on your system and check for a Windows boot. If the same result happens, you should remove your SATA SSD by unscrewing it and separating it from the tray easily by four accessible screws or mounting points. If you were able to isolate any bad parts during this walkthrough, please contact our support team at support at apexgamingpcs.com or call 215-565-1069 or an RMA technician can coordinate with you to get a replacement to you as fast as possible. Thanks for watching.